smartwatches are now extremely versatile and powerful tools, with the very best options able to track exercise, monitor advanced health metrics, and provide a handy second screen to a smartphone. Finding the right smartwatch for your needs isn't just about picking the most feature-packed watch that pairs with your iPhone or Android device though. There's plenty to consider, and it's important to choose a watch with a design you'll actually enjoy wearing as well as one that matches your lifestyle requirements. We've thoroughly tested and reviewed every major smartwatch on the market, ranging from the latest Apple Watch and Samsung smartwatch models all the way down to Wear OS and Fitbit devices. And as always, you can check pricing for any of these products in the description below. And if I'm able to get any discounts or coupon codes, I'll include those for you as well. Now let's get started. Number 5. Fitbit Versa 3 The best smartwatch for those interested in advanced sleep tracking is the Fitbit Versa 3, the next generation of the popular Fitbit Versa 2. The Versa 3 second standout upgrade is on board GPS. Now, even when you leave your phone at home, the Versa can track your location during outdoor exercise. A curvier, larger display is welcome too. Plus the Versa 3 has gained a great motivational workout feature, Active Zone Minutes. Introduced with the Fitbit Charge 4 and now a staple of Fitbit devices, Active Zone Minutes monitors the time you spend in the fat burn, cardio or peak heart rate zones while exercising. Your goal is to earn the American Heart Associates and WHO's recommended 150 Active Zone Minutes each week. Again, you can use your Fitbit Versa 3 for phone calls and speak to voice assistants for queries. But note you can only enable one voice assistant at once. Torn between the Sense and Versa. Number 4. Amazfit GTR 3 Pro We often get asked whether you should buy an Amazfit watch, and the answer is yes, especially the large Amazfit GTR 3 Pro. This is easily the brand's best smartwatch yet, and while we wish it was a bit more full-featured for the price there are ample health and fitness features on board. With improved accuracy compared to the previous generation Amazfit GTR2, the GTR3 Pro offers an excellent one-stop measurement tool for your heart rate, blood oxygen, stress levels and more in a single reading. When you're not checking on your body or working out with the 150 plus exercise types, the watch's built-in apps, hands-free voice controls and menu layouts can be tailored to suit your needs. Pair that with up to 12 days of battery life, and this is one of the best smartwatches for Android that isn't from one of the top shelf names in connected wearable. Number 3. Garmin Venue 2 Plus The real improvements to Garmin's Venue line were made with the second-gen model, and, with the Plus offering improvements such as voice control to that device, it retains its spot as the best Garmin smartwatch. Of course, Garmin has tons of pricier and more feature-packed devices in its stable, but these models are more of what we would consider a sports watch. The Venue 2 Plus, meanwhile, is a true smartwatch, and one that's just as suitable in the office as it is on a hike. It certainly has its downsides, value being one, and relatively clunky software being another. But there's no getting away from the fact that this is a rounded fitness and health tracking experience, and one that unlocks the door to the very rich world of Garmin Connect. For those who don't feel like Garmin's more premium watches are the right fit, and also don't like the look of the Apple Watch or Galaxy Watch lineup, this is a long-lasting and compelling option. Number 2. Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro This is the most advanced wearable in Samsung's collection, offering the same combination of in-depth health and fitness tracking metrics including body composition as the regular Galaxy Watch 5 along with outdoor exercise-focused features like trackback and turn-by-turn -turn navigation, a larger display, and much-improved multi-day battery. There's also the impressive durability to consider, with a display 90% stronger than the Galaxy Watch 4 series, the ability to survive a dunk in the sea, and a titanium case that can take a knock or two. It's certainly more robust than the stylish Galaxy Watch 5, though this does also mean that it's larger and bulkier, with a single 45mm casing option that looked big even on my fairly large wrists. The catch is that certain fitness features are locked to those with a Samsung phone, so other Android owners will find the experience slightly limited, and it won't work at all with an iPhone. It's also a lot more expensive than the standard Galaxy Watch 5, and a big increase on even the premium last-gen Watch 4 Classic, which makes it hard to recommend for everyone. But, if you're an avid cyclist or hiker that'll get the most out of the extra functionality on offer, the Galaxy Watch 5 could be the perfect premium wearable. Number 1. Apple Watch Series 8 The Apple Watch Series 8 follows closely in the footsteps of its predecessor, the Series 7. Apple's smartwatch is currently the best watch money can buy, 
Its style has been slightly updated over the years but has mostly stayed consistent with its signature rounded square design. Its large screen and slim bezels combine with 1000 nits of peak brightness to make all data easy to see and interact with on its always on display. Despite the market competition for fitness trackers from the likes of Fitbit, Garmin, Amazfit, and others, Apple Watch's health and activity apps remain the easiest to use and its activity rings have evolved as a linchpin for the activity metrics genre covering disparate activities like steps, distance, heart rate, blood oxygen and sleep. New features in Series 8 dovetail with the new Watch OS 9 to show real-time heart rate zones and facilitate custom workouts and sleep tracking. New features include car crash detection and automatic contact of emergency services. The Compass app shows current direction and degree and indicates a permanent marker depicting north at the top of the screen. For those with no sense of direction, a new backtrack feature helps retrace your steps. The Medications app tracks the medicine and vitamin intake. Atrial fibrillation patients can use the watch to track their AFib history, and the Calendar app lets you create events directly on the watch. Battery life lasts a day, sometimes longer, and supports fast charging. The Apple Watch Series 8 with GPS is available for $399 and $429 for the 41mm and 45mm aluminum cases, respectively. Models with cellular connectivity cost $100 more each. The Series 8 with a premium stainless steel case will set you back $749 and $799 for the 41mm and 45mm models, respectively. How to choose the right smartwatch, case size, the fit, comfort and wearability of a watch are largely down to case size, and a few millimeters can make a huge difference. Those with small wrists should look in the 30 to 42 millimeters range, while those that like chunky, oversized watches or have big wrists should look at anything above 45 millimeters. iOS versus Android. It's important to think about what smartphone you use. Apple Watch is iOS only and Wear OS 3.0 watches such as the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 lineup and the incoming Pixel Watch are exclusive to Android. Older Wear watches work on both, but the iOS experience is diminished and it's not recommended. Fitbit and Garmin smartwatches work on both but some advanced calling from the wrist features are usually Android only. Apps and extra features. Buying into Apple Watch and Wear OS watches means you can access bustling app stores full of options from big name brands such as Spotify or Strava, and expand on the core features. If you opt for smartwatches from Garmin and Fitbit, their platforms simply don't have developer support for quality apps, so you're limited to the advertised functionality of the watch. Health and fitness features. Smartwatches are increasingly becoming health and fitness tools, so make sure yours has the sensors you want. You'll be hard-pressed to find a smartwatch without a heart rate sensor these days, and most are adept at keeping tabs on 24-7 HR and resting heart rate. However, the likes of Apple and Fitbit now include ECG, a powerful health tool. Runners will want GPS on board to accurately track outdoor workouts too. Battery life. The Apple Watch and Wear OS smartwatches generally only last a day or two away from the charger, which is one of the biggest turnoffs for people. Luckily, a lot of other smartwatches now last in excess of a week, with Fitbit, Amazfit and Garmin all pushing longer runtimes. Cellular connectivity. One more key consideration is whether you want your smartwatch to work away from your phone. Many manufacturers, such as Apple and Samsung, offer LTE versions, which you'll need to purchase a separate data plan to take advantage of. Most carriers and networks have plans for LTE smartwatches, so that wraps up our video. Hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. Also, please feel free to leave a comment, suggestions for future videos or questions you have, as we love getting to respond to as many of those as we can. And if you subscribe to the channel, welcome to our valid consumer family. We've got lots more videos coming your way into. Till then, stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.